Hi, I want to show you a preview of my activity, Slope Given Two Points Detective Activity. This is a really fun activity for students because students love when any activity involves a mystery. And students are going to be given some points and they're going to plot those points and determine um, who is the suspect of a robbery when the crime was committed and what was stolen. So there will be two things that you're given. This is the PDF and you will also be given a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is what students are going to use. So if you look at the PDF though, this is your answer key. So you will go down and you'll see the answer key here and it will also show you who the suspect was when the, the crime was committed and with what object. Okay, so again, that's the answer key. So if you look at your PowerPoint, um, the nice thing about this is that students will not be able to move around, shift any of these objects. They are all into the background so they can't move and mess up any of the PowerPoint. Um, the only things that are movable are the points and where the question mark is that is a text box where students are going to write in the slope so for example right here it says a 4 8 so I'm going to take point a and I'm going to move it over to 4 8 and then I'm going to use my arrows to move it over and then I come back here to B B is 614, and I'm going to take the point, and I'm going to go 614, move it over a little bit, there. And again, nothing else is movable except for the points and the text box right here for slope. So nothing else on this graph. It makes it nice so that students don't uh, shift around a lot of objects. So now I'm going to determine the slope from point A and point B. I like to do rise over run, so start from the bottom point. You can see I rise up 6, I run positive 2, so 6 divided by 2 will give me 3. Okay, and students will do that for the rest of their points. If a student on accident deletes a point, so for example if I on accident delete point C, like, oh no, I don't know where point C is. Now I can go down here to slide six and I have extra points on here. So there's two different sets of extra points. There's also extra X's and then I'll show you what this is in just a second. Um, but just in case a student deletes it, just let them know that there's this extra slide, okay? Once a student gets an answer, so for, for example here we got three, I'm going to look at my who, when, and what, and I'm going to look for the number three, the answer three. So here I don't see any threes. I see a negative three, but not a three. Oh, there we go, a three, the mathematician. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this X, and I'm going to move it over to the mathematician. Okay, and then I did say I would mention what this is. So, for example, once students finish putting X's, I'm just going to do an example. I'm not saying that the blogger is the suspect, but I'm just showing you an example. They will move this over and they will widen it to show that that is the suspect. Okay, but again, that is just an example. Okay, and uh, once students finish all these questions, uh, there's 12 problems once they finish it they will have one suspect left that is not crossed out one time left that is not crossed out and also one object that, that is not crossed out and that will be the answer for the suspect when the crime was committed and with what object and you can have students save it um, they can go file save as and then you can have them send it to you or you can also um, if you have um, something through your classroom online you can have them send that to you on there or email or you can go and check their their computer or their desk 
Well, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.